If you value the money in your wallet, well, we have an alert you need to know about this morning. Yeah, you might want to fill up your gas tank. After several weeks of falling gas prices, they're now going the other way and they're moving fast. John Shumway is here to explain what this is all about. Hey, John. Hey, blame it on OPEC. You'll remember Brianna was warning us yesterday morning that OPEC was going to cut oil production. Well, they did by 2 million barrels a day. The reason is simple. OPEC just wants to send oil prices up because that's what OPEC exists for. GasBuddy.com's Patrick DeHaan says OPEC wants to get all they can out of us without turning off our desire to burn gas. Cut production, the price goes up. Uh, if, if you need uh, a few gallons, you'll save a little bit of money by filling up sooner rather than later. In reality, some of the OPEC countries have not been producing their full allotment anyway. So the real cut won't be 2 million barrels a day. We could probably see output cut of, of realistically between 500,000 to a million barrels a day. But that is enough to push oil prices and gas prices higher already. And so the impact is already being felt. Gas prices in Pittsburgh uh, up about three cents a gallon since midnight. And that was when we spoke late yesterday and the climb at our pumps is not over. I would expect some sort of seven to 15 cent impact, maybe 20 cent impact from OPEC's decision. So we're definitely going over $4 a gallon. Yeah, I think I think that's in short order. So, you know, a lot of those low prices, seeing some prices in Pittsburgh still, uh, Sam's Costco's at 355, 349, even 344, you're probably gonna see those going up pretty quickly here this weekend. Now, DeHaan does say that there is a chance for another reduction in prices near the end of the year because Americans' demand for gas naturally drops in the colder weather when we simply aren't traveling as much. Yeah, he answered so quickly when you asked, is it going to go over $4 yeah. a gallon? Yes, so he, did. he says basically fill up now. I mean, do what you can, right? Yeah, he told me if you have a half tank or less, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and top off. You'll save a little bit of money as we move forward, but eventually we're not going to be able to escape these higher prices. But do expect changes even as we go into the weekend. Oh, boy. Ooh, it's going to be rough. All yeah. right, thanks, John.